The album is called uh, Holy F. Holy no, it's called Holy Okay, all right, all right, well, that's good, that's good. let me... <laughs> the President of the United States can openly talk about God, right. and, every, and, no, and no one goes, what is God? What are you saying? Like, yeah. what are you saying? Do you think Jesus came back from the dead? What, what do you think? Do you think someone walked on water? Although you knew God, you did not honor him as God or give thanks. That God made you for his glory, and you are not serving that purpose. You have sinned. I don't care about your religion. I'm so tired of having non-stop conversations about what the Bible says. You Why does sin man insist on warring with God? As crazy as that sounds. John gives us a glimpse in John 3:19. This is the judgment. The light has come into the world and people love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. I'm going to show you five clips of people who mocked God's holy name and felt his wrath and judgment shortly after. God's judgment gets increasingly more severe as each video progresses. Brandon Robertson is a gay activist for the LGBTQ community and self-proclaimed pastor and minister of God's word, but is blatantly a false teacher and a heretic. Before I show you what happens to him when he blasphemes God's holy name, here are a short few clips of his heretical teaching. The same spirit that gives life to all people is the same spirit revealed in Jesus Christ and is the same spirit that was at work through Siddhartha Gautama the Buddha and is the same spirit that inspired Prophet Muhammad. That Jesus helped his friend come out. In John chapter 11, verse 43, Jesus called out in a loud voice saying, Lazarus, come out. You see, Lazarus was locked up in a cold, dark tomb, wrapped in burial cloths, left for dead. That's exactly what so many Christians and so many churches do to LGBT people. They wrap us up and bind us up and tell us that we need to keep our identity, our true self locked away. But Jesus, upon seeing Lazarus in this state, he says, Lazarus, come out. Step into the light. Take off the cloth. Be who you are. Come alive. I believe that this is what Jesus is speaking to every LGBT person. Come out of the tomb of shame. Take off the chains that have bound you up. Step into the glory of who God made you to be, fearfully and wonderfully made, just as you are. If you thought this was bad, it gets worse. Did you know that there's a part of the Gospel of Mark where Jesus uses a racial slur? Jesus repents of his racism and extends healing to this woman's daughter. The future of the church and of our world is truly in the hands of what Martin Luther King Jr. called the creatively maladjusted. Maybe minorities, sexual and gender minorities, have something to teach the church about dying to self, about new life, about... That is not a sign of God's judgment, okay? Look what happens to secular comedian Heather McDonald when she mocks Jesus publicly. I don't mean to brag, I don't care, but I want you to know, double vaxxed, booster, flu shot, and I have the shingle shot too. Traveled, never got COVID, clearly Jesus loves me the most. Seriously. So nice, so nice. She did suffer a skull fracture, but was deemed okay and shortly released from hospital after. And I feel like if Jesus flicked you over, he would have given you a softer landing. He wouldn't have been that I mad know, at you. No, it's not Jesus, you guys. <laughs> Jesus thinks I'm a hoot. Bruce Spencer calls himself a pastor, but distorts the view of God and his divine word. Watch what happens to this church when he blatantly rejects God's biblical character and denies God's perfect, infallible word. Today, Holy Mother God, for you are more than any single description of gender or personality or role. You know, why are there all those contradictions in the Bible? Well, because it was written down by the people over a period of about 1500 years. So given, given that, uh, people are going to have different kinds of things. And, and I am one who does not believe it was dictated by God.
Parishioners in Spencer just devastated after they are forced to watch their historic church burn and then collapse into ashes. Investigators believe the fire started in the steeple after it was struck by lightning. Logan Paul, a prominent YouTuber, ridicules his Christian friend's beliefs and mocks the holy name of Jesus Christ. Logan Paul admits that the following weeks were absolutely terrible. Because I'll be honest with you, bro. Jesus Christ... Oh. You have to be very careful when you mock people's religions. I made some pretty uh he's gonna go pretty cry. out of line go comments cry. to George about George's beliefs. And I said, uh I, I'm not gonna say what I said. I'm not even going there again because I'll tell you why. The following three weeks have been the hardest period <laughs> of my life. We started off in uh in Qatar. I got violent food poisoning. Oh. This is a nightmare. Oh. oh. I feel like I'm gonna die. You're gonna be alright. <laughs> Good night in guitar. Camera taken away at the airport. So we, we were invited by Qatar. We landed Qatar. Camera stripped from us. We get back, get get to my hotel. It's it's just little things here and there. Things are showing up. We misscheduled. Um, next day, got alcohol poisoning. Our luggage was delayed, so we, we had no clothes to get to our events. Qatar was the first time I felt the wrath of God. In 2023, Brazil held a Satan parade where they had somebody dressed up as the devil beating and torturing Jesus with a pitchfork while hundreds of onlookers celebrated it. What occurs after is truly terrifying. Catastrophic rainfall slamming southeast Brazil, now killing at least 46 people. Entire roads washed away in the downpours. Nearly 800 people are left homeless, and at least 1,700 are now displaced. Officials expecting the death toll to continue rising, with more than three dozen people still unaccounted for. God's holy name will not be mocked, it will not be reviled, and it will not be blasphemed among a people who God gave breath and life. It is a miracle and a gift of God's common grace that those that continue to do this have not faced his instant eternal wrath and judgment. The Bible says in Ezekiel 25, 17, I will execute great vengeance upon them with wrathful rebuke. Then they will know that I am the Lord when I lay my vengeance upon them. Those that continue to mock God will not only face suffering here, but the ultimate suffering Suffering is when his final wrath and judgment will be poured out on all wickedness and evil. The Bible is clear that God hates evil and pride because he is good, perfect, and just. But the Bible says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Belshazzar, watch out! Judgment is coming. You're going too far. There's a point beyond which the patience of God will not go. There's a line drawn among nations and among individuals and in families and in communities. Job said, they that plow iniquity and sow wickedness reap the same. Keep on plowing your iniquity. Keep on sowing your wickedness. You're going to someday reap it. Hosea said, For they have sown to the wind, and they shall reap a whirlwind. Jeremiah said, They've sown wheat, but they shall reap thorns. What is the only hope for this world living in rebellion against God's commands? It is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Only the power of the Holy Spirit can make you a new creation, and only our Heavenly Father can give you new life. Although we have all sinned against a holy God and deserve his eternal punishment, the ultimate wrath and suffering came upon Jesus Christ as our substitutionary atonement so that now we can have peace with God instead of judgment. Let us work out our salvation with fear, trembling, and rejoicing. If you were encouraged by this video, 
please share it with other people so that we can get the truth of God out there together. If you would like to be a part of this Christian ministry, subscribe and leave a comment so that we can fellowship together. To Jesus alone be the glory. God bless.